you are watching Tumeonele Saul. I'm from Aga Khan University and we are sharing together about trigonometric ratios. Uh, this uh, lesson is entirely for teachers of mathematics, learning how to teach trigonometric ratios to students all over and in my focus shall be embedding technology into how to teach trigonometric ratios to students. Now, I'm going to share with you a trigonometric uh, software called TrigTour on how you can help your students to master the concept. Let us share with the tool. Okay, so the software is known as TrigTour, as seen here. Uh, this sort software uses a circle and it is a unit circle. Here we have the trigonometric identities, cosine, sine, tangent. We also have these ones, special angles, uh, labels, and grid. On the other side, we have values. The values of x and y shall also be plotted. We have the angle, we have the ratio, in this case, the trigonometric ratio, each of the ratios shall be appearing here. Here we have the degrees and radians. Down here, we have the graph. The software will plot the graph of the trigonometric ratios as we shall see. Consider now the cosine. If we tick on special angles, and also you will see the special angles dotted around our unit circle. Let us also tick on the labels. You will see labels marked around our unit circle and the graph you see has been labeled. Also tick on the grid. Now, the grid will show in form of squares in our unit circle. So taking an example of a cosine, and we choose the first uh, special angle, and this will be 30. Now we move. So the angle shows on the side of values. You'll find that the labels have been marked. We have y, x, and 1. This figure is a right angle triangle, and this, uh, this marked one is known as hypotenuse. It can be obtained from a half of our radius, which is, sorry, can be obtained from the radius of our unit circle, which is equal to one. Remember the circle is a unit circle, which means the radius is one. From here, we can obtain a y, which is half of the radius. So y will be a half as seen on the values. It is easy for us, having obtained the hypotenuse and the opposite, it is easy for us to obtain the adjacent, which has been calculated for us by the software. However, you can also calculate it manually. Let us look at our ratio. Our cosine ratio shall be given from adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is x, hypotenuse one, which gives us the ratio of root three out of two. Let us take another trigonometric ratio sign. When you come here, the values of the hypotenuse will remain the same because we have not changed. The, ad the opposite shall also be the same as well as our adjacent. However, our trigonometric ratio for sign will change. This time it is opposite over hypotenuse, which will give us y, which is the opposite, hypotenuse one, and which will give us a ratio of a half. Let us also take an example of the tan, considering the same angle. Our ratio this time for a tan will be the opposite over the adjacent, which gives us the ratio of root three out of three. When we undo this, we need also to find out how these ratios change along our unity circle. So for example, taking our cosine and we move along this unit circle, 
Please note the sign of our ratio here. So we move for the cosine, you find that the ratio within this quadrant are all positive. When you move the second quadrant, they change, they become negative. Please take note of this. They are negative. They are negative in the second quadrant. Third quadrant, still negative. Then the fourth quadrant, they changed positive. Okay. Let us also consider the sign. For the sign, they are also positive in the first quadrant. They are positive in the second quadrant. They are negative in the third quadrant. You note that. They are also negative in the fourth quadrant. We only do and consider our tangent. In the first quadrant, all positive. In the second quadrant, negative. In the third quadrant, positive. In the fourth quadrant, they are negative also. So we can conclude that all the trigonometric ratios in the first quadrant are positive, as seen here. Also, only sign is positive in the second quadrant. In the third quadrant, only tan is positive. And lastly, in the fourth quadrant, only cosine is positive. This uh, software is available. You can find it from the Google search, download it on your computer. It works without internet and it can help deliver this concept to learners without making them suffer or fail to understand the mathematics and we make mathematics a fun. Thank you for watching. Continue searching more to improve the learning of mathematics.